Hey guys, it's Morgie Britt here. A couple weeks ago, an Anon um, asked me how I made uh, kind of custom family portraits like this for my Sims. And at the time I told them, you know, there's not any super great tutorials, but here are a couple. And today I was making some more for my Plumberry family and I happened to think, wait, why don't I just make a tutorial? So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to go into depth on um, like what, where, where you download, because you'll need uh, two things you'll need, the Sims Resource Workshop and a DDS uh, plugin for Photoshop. I'm not going to go into detail on where or how you download those. I'll put a link in the description, but that's about it. So the first thing, I mean, you'll need those, but another thing you'll need is an image that you want to make a picture out of. And I wanted to kind of show you an example. So here are two photos of essentially the same thing. And you might be thinking, well, clearly we want this one because uh, it's way better uh, quality, right? I rotated my camera, zoomed in nicely, and this one's really not so great. It's super zoomed out. And especially if I'm only wanting the photo to be this part, it seems like I would pick this one. And it's not that this one will turn out bad, but this one actually will turn out better because the quality of the um, images on the mesh is not going to be super great. So I'm just going to, here's an example to try to show you what I mean. And it's really, it's probably not that big of a deal, um, but I, I recently kind of discovered that and it seems counter counterintuitive. So here is the picture of the larger image. If you're zoomed out, it's not too bad. But if you zoom in, well, pretty much all of them are going to look crappy when you get super zoomed in. But like, I don't know, his eye looks super weird and it just doesn't look super great. However, this is the smaller image and I just think it looks overall cleaner. I mean, of course, if you zoom in, it's going to look kind of bad again. But I, th I feel personally that this image just, it looks crisper when you're talking about the photo. But it's probably not that noticeable. Um, personal preference, kind of a long aside. But um, I mean, the image was made in a lower pixel and it looks fine, whereas this you're shrinking down a much larger image to a super small area. Um, okay, side note over. Let's get into how to do this. So you'll want to open up the Sims Resource Workshop after downloading it, of course. And I always say yes, it probably doesn't matter. If you are just opening it for the first time or if you didn't know, um, it's just going to have base game meshes. If you want to include expansion packs, you want to go to Edit and Preferences. And then you want to come down to Folders. And so yours probably will only have this one filled in. And you'll have to go locate where on your computer um, the other ones are. Some of them I had trouble finding. So for fast lane stuff, I'm probably not going to find it, but you never know. Um, you'll want to go to the hard drive it's located on. So most of mine are in E. And then it'll most, if you didn't do any sort of custom install, it'll probably be under program files or your program files x86. Uh, mine is not. Mine is Electronic Arts, and then you would just select if I was finding the Pets one. So um, down here, if I navigated, I would hit Pets and hit OK. The other place it might be, so that would be if it was like a disk that you got, but if you did a download from Origin, it's going to be under Origin Games. And again, you would just select. So if I was looking for Seasons, I'd hit OK. And then you'd hit Apply. Um, I'm going to hit cancel since I didn't do anything. Then the next thing you want to do is do create a new project. Um, if you're doing a poster, it'll be under object. You hit next. Um, decor, paintings and posters. 
and your stuff here might take a little while to load up. All mine's loaded up because I've used it before. And you'll come down and select the type of poster you want. Um, one thing I want to show you, actually no, I'll save that. Um, so we can pick any size one. I'm going to, for real, I suppose, uh, take this photo and convert it. So um, I generally want just their, you know, kind of a portrait style of just their upper body. So I'm going to find a mesh that looks good. It doesn't hurt to kind of have an idea of what size you want and check out the meshes in game. So for example, I made one for, where is it? I just saw it. This one, I'm thinking, oh yeah, a poster, that'll be perfect. And it was two by one and it was way larger than I expected. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I've used it before. It's a pretty good portrait size. You hit next. Um, project name, uh, you'll just want to, it doesn't really matter, but something that'll help you figure it out. So I'm going to say Eve Berry Wedding. And this will be when you hover over the object in game what shows up. So it doesn't hurt to actually give it a nice title like um, Eve, I mean basically the same thing works, but Eve Berry Wedding Photo. And then you can do a description. A lot of times it's pretty, if you're thinking of uploading something, giving credit for where the images came from, um, credit for the mesh, crediting yourself, all that. Uh, since this is would be more of a personal photo and I probably wouldn't upload it, I just might say a photograph of Cranberry and Evening Star Wedding Day and call that good. Um, I never check this, so leave that and then you hit next and then OK. So it might take a minute for it to load up the meshes and there we go there's our image so what we're interested in is coming over oh one thing it doesn't hurt I always forget to do this but the price it doesn't hurt to set it at like one dollar so that way it's cheap when you're buying it but most of the time I forget so it doesn't matter um, I mean and it'll also make it easier to find because it'll show up at the beginning of your thing you might also want to change where it shows up. I don't know why. Decor seems pretty easy, but um, main thing we're interested in is our textures and our overlay. If it's not showing up here, I will show you in a minute where else it might be. Um, actually, I could probably show you here. So if it's not showing up under your overlay and you're like, oh, I wanted to, I just found this out today. I was so excited. It might be under stencils. And so if you look at this stencil, a, it's blank, but the actual picture image, like this girl on her stool might be here. And so you'll come down here and hit edit. But this one is normal. It's up in overlay. So you hit edit and it opens up this and you want to hit export. And I usually just export it to the desktop and I don't change anything. I just hit save. And you might have noticed, I probably should have paused, it said direct draw surface or something. Actually, I could do it again. Direct draw surface dot DDS. This is why we need the um, Photoshop plugin. So since I already have it installed into my Photoshop, I can just double click and it opens up in Photoshop and you do load using default sizes. Okay, so this is what I, this one's not nearly as hard and you might be like, why does it matter? Um, sometimes, especially the collage meshes, there'll be several little pieces that you're putting photos on. And so there's a couple ways that I find that's easiest to transfer my photos onto this. You can either use the rectangular marquee tool or you can come down to the shape tool. So this is especially nice if the mesh is a circle because you can drag it out to match the shape. Um, I'm just going to use, when it's a simple rectangle, I usually just use this tool. And you want to kind of zoom in enough and you just want to select where the photo is. And then what I do is I do control J 
which copies just that part of the mesh. And this kind of helps me create a mask of where I want my photo to go. So especially if I'm working with a larger photo like this, where I'm going to have kind of a lot of cropping going on, it makes that job a lot easier. So I'm going to open up this photo. You could do some slight editing. I usually add a little sharpness um, with Topaz Clean. But I personally don't really do much with the color, especially since this one's already bright, because um, I just don't want it to appear too bright in game, especially if I'm taking a picture of the picture and then re-editing it, and it's just going to be like doubly bright, if that makes sense. Okay, so getting this photo ready. And it doesn't hurt, so I can look at this image and I see that the width is 256 and the height is 512. So if I wanted to, I might shrink this one down to maybe a thousand pictures or pixels just to make it slightly smaller. And I might undo that or do a different size. I just did control A, control C. You get the dancing ants around it so that I can paste it, control V over here. Still notice it's still fairly large. And now what I'm going to do, this is why I made this layer here is I'm going to, with layer 2 selected, the, this photo, I'm going to do control alt g as in uh, goat, and it creates this kind of clipping mask. I'm going to actually see if create clipping mask, yeah. So if you don't want to do ship shortcuts, you can just do create clipping mask, and it basically only lets the photo cover the part of the, the layer below it, so just the photo. So this way I don't really have to crop it, I can use whatever I want. So this one I'm going to do more zoomed out because I want to show the Eiffel Tower. And I like that. You can of course pull in on these and adjust the size. Oops, I shouldn't have done that because I liked my sizing. And once you get it how you like it, you do that. And I made the mistake once of trying to flatten the image, thinking, oh, that will, like, I don't want these layers. It's fine. You can leave the layers. You don't have to flatten it or merge it. But if you do, for some reason, I would do merge visible and not flatten image. But once you have your image, you're good to go. We're going to do file. I always like to do a save as, but you could save over the top. Make sure you change this to your DD or D3D DDS or dot DDS. That's really important. Otherwise, I won't be able to read it. And I'm going to do Eve Berry Wedding and save it. Um, most of this should already be, like, I don't think I changed anything, but you'll want to do the DXT5 RGB 8BPP, 2D texture, generate mip maps. One thing you might want to go in and check is image options and compress at the highest quality. I think that might make it look better. I don't, I don't know if I've really noticed a difference. But anyway, um save. Now we can come back. I always leave this open just in case I want to adjust it slightly. Um, I have all my layers already set, but we're going to hit import now. And it sh if you saved it to your desktop, it's pretty easy to find. So this is the one I want, Eve Berry. And you'll see that photo's there. And I hit done. So there you go. There's my photo. Um, some other things to think about is there's usually multiple colors. So if I wanted a different photo, you know, to save on like having a thousand million pictures, I could put a different photo here, a family photo on this one. Same thing, I'll edit it. You can even work right on this one and just paste a new one in and do your control G to, you know, work with the same one. You don't have to re-export it. Or if you just want the one photo, you can come over here and do delete. Um, another option, if they didn't give you enough and you want more, is you can do duplicate, and that will create a new uh, 
color option that you could add a new image to. So I'm going to delete this one as well. Um, other options, you could always go in and pick your patterning here for the, the frame. I don't really care, I'll change it in game anyway. Um, yeah, so that's it, except you want to save and you might think export, but you'll notice the two package is blacked out, so you'd have to do a Sims 3 pack and at least as far as I know, no one likes Sims 3 packs, but there is another way to do it. You'll do edit, project contents, you'll see this big long list, and you're going to do export to package. And so I'm on my desktop and I can save it however I like. Eve Berry Wedding Photo and save. Export done. And then you would be done and you would just simply take this guy and put it in your mods folder and test it out in game. I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to show you. Um, oh yes, so you might be thinking like that's great uh, but I don't really care for the EA meshes so I'm going to show you another way. So if you don't like the EA meshes and you want something from a, a co custom content source you're going to go to new import next you're going to browse and I happen to in my here's everything I need um, found these pictures I liked the size of this one and it was a square so I downloaded it and you'll see that I have the package files here from that download um, oops so I'm going to open the new folder where I had it saved you'll want to go here and if you're looking for a Sims 3 pack obviously you'll do that but I want package and you'll select the package it's gonna ask if it's a Sims 4 and it's not so I hit no and then you hit next and here again you'll want to type in your project name so maybe I'm gonna call it Eve Berry Wedding 2 and you know you could leave stuff there, Eve Berry Wedding, and you could put your username. Like this would be more of like if you're putting it up for download. You'll also notice here we have the kind of the stuff you might want to know. Like the art is by this person, the mesh is by RD, so I'd especially leave that since you're using the mesh. And then made by, and you can put your own stuff like Morgie Britt at morgiebrit.tumblr.com um, next and finish and then it works exactly the same way as before you'll go to your textures and you'll edit it um, one thing you'll notice here is this one is super stretched out but it ends up being a square um, so I would kind of take a square image and stretch it it might look better but you could always play around not a big deal um, yeah so I hope this tutorial was helpful and if I miss something or if you have questions just let me know have a good day Wah.